Hey everyone, I recently acquired a pair of these MML branded radios from Amazon and I'll leave the uh, link on, in the description to um, to their Amazon page. Uh, not an affiliate link unless I specify, but right now I am not an affiliate. So uh, feel free to just do your own search if you'd like. Uh, th these are actually sell under different brands uh, on various Chinese websites, but on Amazon they're sell under the MML radio uh, label. And it caught my attention because this actually happens to have GPS and it can send from one of these to another. Uh, it's it's uh, GPS recording is using an ID system. And I'll show you real quick how to set that up because uh, the documentation is pretty poor and I couldn't quite figure it out at first and then I got everything kind of working. So uh, I'll go through the menus that you need to set on this radio and then I'll show you how it actually works. So in essence, there's two things you need to make sure that are set in the menu, as well as uh, an actual state in which the radios need to be in when you are actually transmitting the data. So uh, go to the menu, which is by clicking this OK button here. And the first one you need to look at is uh, menu number 31. You can skip to it directly if you're not on it by just hitting 31 on your uh, keypad. And uh, let me see if I can change this angle a little bit so you can see a little bit better. And if you notice, it's got uh, something labeled any name. So these are the IDs that you set for the radio. So you have to make sure that each one is unique. And so I have this one set to um, to num1, and then the other one is set to num.2. And uh, the second setting is number 50. So set a number 50, make sure your GPS is enabled. Now, once you enable the GPS, if you hit left or right on the main uh, display, you'll be able to see these two options, or screens, I should say. The one to the, to the right, and you can actually cycle through them like this, but the one on the right is basically like a locator, almost like a radar sort of thing, that will show you dots representing the, uh, the other radios if you move up and down. So my place is obviously this one. If you go up, it'll go to num1, which is still this one, because that's the uh, ID I gave it. And then number two is the one that we're gonna be testing with, so I'll show you that in a second. Um, but basically, if you go to the next one, this is actually your coordinates. So um, it starts out with my place, and then that will show you the coordinates right there. This is because I acquired a signal, and this can take a couple of minutes at the first uh, when you first start the radio up. But once it's warmed up, it actually picks up really quick, even if you power cycle it. And if you notice that the screen is a little blurry, it's because I am obfuscating the, uh, the coordinates, so you can't see the actual coordinates. <laughs> I don't want you to find me. But anyhow, uh, this is how easy it is. So once you actually have it on that screen, um, or the other one, regardless, you're basically in GPS mode here. You can go up and down like this. So that's my other radio. What I'm gonna do is while sitting at this screen, I'm gonna PTT up. And if you notice, I only PTT once and let go. And you heard the uh, sound come by twice. So what it did was this one first sent the data over to the other one and then the other one responded back automatically. The other unit does not have to be PTT'd. Um, works both ways. So if the other, let's say that another person is holding the other one and they actually PTT up, then that will send to this one first and then this one will respond back automatically. And that's basically it. That's how easy it is. Um, now, obviously these two units are really close to each other. So if I happen to go to the uh, radar light display, and I go to number two, then the dot's gonna be like really close to me, right? But in essence, this will show you like the, the approximate distance. So if this one shows zero meters. If the other one happens to be a little bit farther away, then it'll show that. Now, I'm not sure how big that circle is um, as far as like the maximum distance that it'll actually locate uh, the units, but um, it should come in handy when you're trying to directionally locate somebody uh, within your group, if you're like hiking or you know, on the trails or something like that. So uh, pretty nifty uh, for the price. This one's right now, they're about $95 shipping included uh, in the US from Amazon. And I think for the features that it provides, this is actually a really good deal. Now, um, this is a multi-band transceiver and it supports uh, uh, two meters, 220, which I think is 1.25. It supports um, uh, 70 centimeters for tra transmit and it supports a bunch of other bands for uh, uh, for receive, including air band, which is pretty cool uh, in AM. Um, but I will warn you that this antenna is not a uh, tri-band antenna, so I wouldn't recommend using this antenna that it comes with for 220, for uh, 1.25. Uh, 
I would venture into purchasing a tri-band antenna instead. Um, I've used a Nagoya 320A with success on this, but you have to use an adapter here to kind of elevate it a little bit because uh, this area here does not have enough space for it and it will not make proper contact to the bottom and you'll probably get some really high SWR. So don't do that. Um, get some interim adapters. I just grabbed like an SMA to BNC adapter and then it just kind of attached the antenna that way. But uh, yeah, uh, that pretty much wraps it up. I just wanted to talk about the actual GPS uh, aspects of this unit and uh, how easy it was to actually set up. You just need to set up those two menu options, 31 and, and uh, 50. And then um, when you're sitting on the actual GPS uh, screens, you just basically uh, key up and it will automatically make sure that both units are in the same frequency, of course, and then just key up and it will uh, reach out to one unit and then the other unit will respond back automatically. It's that easy. Pretty awesome little radios for the price. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, probably as much as this little spider here is enjoying the uh, warm day. And thanks for watching.